Hey Tomorrowans, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a video where I try out old throwback makeup. And I thought this would be a really cool video just to remember what the hype was back in the day. You guys were on YouTube or you were into makeup a couple years ago. Most of these products were hyped back then. So I just want to go back, reminisce, and just try out these products and see what I think about them now. If you want to see how my face turns out at the end of this video, then just keep on watching. Also remember to go ahead and like this video. Also comment down below the videos you want to see. Subscribe to my channel to become a part of the gang 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 and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload so let's go ahead and get into it okay so the og all-time probably favorite palette back in the day was the modern renaissance palette i don't know about you guys but this palette was so super high everybody wanted it everybody pretty much has it so this is how mine looks it literally looks so jacked up as you can tell my favorite shade is this one right here this is a great everyday palette as you can tell it has a lot of the neutral shades in it but it also has some pops of colors we're definitely going to use this one today to create our eyeshadow look so first we'll go with the transition shade and as you can tell my favorite shade is Rossinia. this shade right here so we're gonna go in with that one first and we're gonna use that as our transition shade so tell me um down below in the comment section how many of you guys still have the modern renaissance and was it um a super hype product back then is that why you got it so we have it all blended out and as you can tell it's like perfectly matches my skin tone um next we're gonna go into the shade called real guard right here and i remember the glam twins used to use this shade so freaking much so that when you want to use it more i'm just gonna put it kind of above my crease or my transition area just bringing in a little bit of a red and as you can tell this palette is still freaking bomb and it size it definitely has some of the best shadows in the game so next we're going to take the shade Venetian Red, which is this shade right here. And we're going to put that kind of in our outer V. I did not use this shade as much as the other shades in this palette, but it's still a really pretty shade. This makes me want to use my old makeup over again. Do you guys ever go back to like your old products, whether it's hair products or makeup products or whatever? And just like, let me just reminisce and just use some of these older products. I do that a lot, so that's why I like to keep my makeup. Then we're going to go in with the shade called Love Letter. So I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to put that all over my lid. So now we're going to move on to liner. And one of the first liners that I ever bought was this Amuse Cosmetics liner right here. I also had the e.l.f. um like potted liner but i think i threw it away because it was super old i'm gonna take my nyx this is the like brow pencil right here but i'm gonna use that to apply my liner because this is the brush that i used to use back in the day to apply my liner so i'm gonna use this brush this is so much harder i could not do a wing with this that was so hard it probably didn't look like it but that was really hard i'm gonna take some of my tarte maracuja oil and this oil is super old school as well you guys i remember when i first got this oil it was super hot back in the day this is how you know this is super old look how crusty and dust so now i'm gonna put this on with the oil so it should go on smoother so i didn't really wear lashes back in the day but we're still gonna pull some lashes because why not so i'm gonna use these ella p miss pretty neat lashes right here i'm gonna put these on okay for mascara i don't know about y'all but back in the day better than sets from Too faced was like the goat everybody had this mascara this is the waterproof one i'm actually like the waterproof better than i like the regular one i am out of my regular one so i'm gonna use this one but you guys this mascara used to be so freaking hype nowadays i think because people was wearing on um, their natural lashes more back then but nowadays a lot of us wear lashes so doesn't even really matter about mascara like we just pop on any type of mascara because we're going to put lashes right on top anyway so we're going to use the tarte maracuja oil just to bring back some memories i'm just going to use it in my outer face as my, my outer face primer and then for my inner face primer i'm gonna use the professional primer you guys i used to use this primer so much back in the day um and yeah this primer is still very relevant but i remember it was hyped up back in the day because it really um you know filled in our pores really good so i'm gonna take that and put that on the t-zone okay now for foundation i don't know about you guys but back in the day 
Mac was doing the dang thing back in the day. We all had a Mac foundation. This is one that I actually got from TJ Maxx. This is the Match Master um, SPF 15 foundation. And I got it from um, TJ Maxx. So it is a little bit darker than I would usually get my foundation. It's in the shade A49. It looks light though. Let's try it without mixing first because it looks kind of light. I don't wanna, yeah. Wow, it's actually looking too light. Wow. But we're gonna make it work because I'm already light right now. So we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna use my um foundation brush. Even though it's light, it's not super light. It probably will match me pretty good for the winter time. So it doesn't look too bad. I definitely need some more though. Next we have concealers and I do keep a lot of my concealers so I have a good bit of my old school concealers and we all know that the old school hyped concealers were the LA Pro Girl Concealers. We used to hype these up so much. I still love them. I don't use them a whole lot anymore but they're still pretty much my favorite concealers. So my favorite shade was Fawn. On. I'm gonna use this as like my to conceal up my bags and then to highlight I think I'm gonna use let's use cool tan and I used to have the shade like cocoa or something that I used to use to contour but I think I threw that one away because it was like mixing wrong and these still might mix wrong because these are super old so if it does mix wrong I will use another concealer but let's hope these work and some of you guys who just like are on the makeup scene you're probably like oh my god I, I use those products heavenly I just found out about those products last week but for people who were on YouTube like in 2014 on 2015 2016 i feel like we all are familiar or remember when these products were hyped up because i definitely remember because a lot of these products i bought because of the hypeness of them now we out here using 29 dollar um freaking tart shape tape i don't use that concealer though because i can't afford that okay let's blend this out y'all this concealer is actually really good i forgot how good this concealer was <laughs> not see like how much coverage that just gave me oh it's lit i'm about to talk about using those concealers and save my little coin because i be out here using expensive concealers when i know i ain't got it and that concealer just did what a lot of my expensive concealers do don't sleep on the la girl y'all don't sleep on it so i do not have my old school cream contour shade from la girls so one of the cream contours that i first bought was the i think this is makeup revolution contour stick right here i used to use this heavy heavy and i still love it so i'm gonna use it today make sure i put on a good bit because i want to kind of balance out my face i feel like back in the day it was all about affordability and stuff like that and then now we have freaking Tatcha up in the building who wants you to spend sixty dollars on a primer or whatever, however much it costs. Like, oh, they're doing too much now. Now for setting powders, I don't even know what product would be like an old school one, but I feel like the um Maybelline Fit Me setting powders were really popular, kind of like back in the day. So this is in the shade medium deep. So I'm gonna use this to set my face. But comment down below what setting powder you think was hype back then. I really can't remember. I feel like this is probably the oldest one that I have. That's why I'm using this one, but I can't remember like. What was a really setting powder that was like really hyped? And I'm hoping it's not too dark. The setting powder is actually like really good. Actually, y'all, I was supposed to use a different cream contour. I definitely forgot. I was supposed to use the freaking Anastasia cream contour kit because I used to use this thing so much back in the day, but I actually forgot. So I'm super sorry I meant to use this one, but um, I did used to use that Makeup Revolution a whole lot. Um, for bronzer and like contour, I used to use the um, Anastasia Contour Kit, the powdered one. I used to use this so freaking much. So we're going to use this one today. And I'm going to take this shade right here as my bronzer. And I used to use it so much, but now I don't even reach for it. That's so sad. Like, we just forget about these products and just want to try out new stuff, which it makes sense. Like, we want to try new products, but don't forget about the OGs. Don't forget about what was holding us down when this stuff wasn't out. Okay. Then we're gonna contour with the contour shade in the palette. This was the first high-end powdered product that I had back then. Now I done went to Fenty and Huda, but this was this was the OG. This is what I used. Okay, and for blush, the only brush I can remember using a lot back then was the blush out of this palette. 
Um, I loved it because it was orange and it matched with every look that I used to do. So I'm gonna use that one as my blush. Palette is still like essential. I don't know why I don't use it more because it literally goes with everything for my skin tone. I think this is the tan to deep one and it literally is perfect. You can use it for pretty much everything because you have lighter shades, you have a skin tone shade, a bronzer shade, a blush shade, and a contour shade. So this would be perfect for like traveling or something like that. So I definitely use it more. For highlighter, one of my OGs was the Anastasia Glow Kits. You weren't a like real YouTuber or whatever if you did not have an Anastasia Glow Kit. This is the sun dipped one. This was probably one of my favorite ones that came out. I used to love this. And as you, as you can tell, I haven't used it that much um, lately. So I need to definitely use this more. So we can use that today. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to mix bronzed and moonstone. And these um, highlighters were always freaking bomb. Look at this. Why do we like, I guess when new products come out, you want to try it out. But I feel like nobody even uses these uh, palettes anymore. And they're like still freaking bomb. Like, look at this. Look at that highlight. Still bomb. Pretty much better than some highlighters that are new nowadays. For lips, I don't remember what lipstick I used to use a whole lot back then. I feel like we just used lip glosses, I guess. So I guess I'm going to just choose a lip glossy type of nude um, lip. Nothing super like old school or what was like super hype back then, but just something really pretty. So first I'm going with my Nika K lip liner. So I definitely have been using this lip liner for years. It has been one of my OGs. I'm going on with the Anastasia Staunch Matte Lipstick. All of these products are Anastasia. Then I'm going to go on with the Anastasia. This is a lip gloss in Kristen. I remember Kristen when I first got it. It was like super popular back then. So I guess this is kind of a throwback. But yes, this is the throwback look of like basically almost a full face of old school throwback products that were super hype back then. I feel like the Anastasia palette was like one of the most hype products that I ever have that was really like the jam back in. Like I said, I still love the palette. I still use it very often. So yeah, definitely don't forget about your oldie but goodies. Still show them love, you guys. They're still bomb. Um, And yeah, just don't get too hyped in the new stuff. Cause I feel like back then makeup was genuine and people actually took their time to create it. Nowadays, people are just throwing out stuff and people are just buying it. So I feel like I will always love my old school products and I love my newer products because I feel like back then stuff just mattered more and it was all about the consumer more than the company making a coin. So if you guys like this type of video of me going through my old products and just trying them out again and seeing why I still love them, definitely like this video up. Comment down below any the videos you want to see. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload and also become up to more again. You know you like me, you know you want to see more of me. Go ahead, hit the red button, it's free, it don't cost you nothing. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much and peace.